out to here. I'm crashing party. It's your boy Red Duskin. And it's your boy Rail here. You're now tuned in to the Spill Podcast. The Spill Podcast. Let go. Let's do it. <laughs> the man. What's up, what's yes, up, what's sir. up, dog? What's up, what's up, what's up? What's going on, real man? Man, we back at it. First off, let me say shout out to Grand Coromino and the Lobo 1707. 1707. Resharing, man. They resharing our shit, bro. Appreciate you, man. We up. <laughs> we up. <laughs> we up, man. We, up. we out here. Hey, man, uh, we're going we to continue to review you know what I'm saying? We're going to continue to give our honest opinion. We're going to continue to drink. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how we do at the spill. I'm going to hit the goddamn hit the button. Oh, that's the wrong button. Oh. <laughs> that's the wrong button. That's the right one. That's the right one right there. The spill podcast. Hey, Rel, um, what we drinking on today, Rel? Man, we drinking on... The Kendall Jenner. Now we got a rapper in the room tonight. Usually we got a comic. We got the comic. Okay. Tequila. We had J Ron on. Yeah. Shout we had the Grand Carmino. Right. We Laker fans. We had the Lobos. We had the LeBron James. Shout out the Lobos. Now she's not a rapper. Kendall Jenner's not a rapper. We got the eight one eight Tequila Resposado. She's not a rapper, but she dated a couple. <laughs> she dated a couple. So <laughs> we got the Kendall Jenner right here. Eight one eight Resposado. And we got our special guest tonight. Very special. Talk to him. Come on. We got my nephew in the building. Yes, sir. One of the best rappers in the city, if not the country. Yes, sir. Hold up. Talk to him. In the world. In the world. Hold up. We got King Dolo in the building. Give it up, King Dolo, right now. Live studio audience. Make some noise for him. Make some noise for him. Hey, hey, hey. What up? What up? What up? I meant every word I said, too. (laughs) Facts. Let niggas know since a time, since time. for a long time, a long time. That's it. Nigga was recording on the fat computer backs. <laughs> no bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit. So, uh, uh, you know, we're gonna start this show. We're gonna, we're gonna toast it up to a to a good time. You know what I'm saying? What's to up? prosperity, and I wish all you brothers the best. Yes, sir. Toast it up. Toast, toast it up, up bro. All right, instant reaction on the Kindle. It's a little sweet. It's 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 sweet. It's a little sweet. Kind of threw me off. I like it though. It's smooth. It kind of settle. It kind of settle right here for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Definitely. <sighs> Ain't bad though. Ain't bad. Now I had the the uh, the Blanco Kindle Jenner. I haven't had the Resposado. Something about Kendall Jenner. Something about them Kardashians in general. Like, when you with them, like, you up. Right. <laughs> but uh, when uh, they uh, gone, uh, you're down. You're man. down, baby. Yo. It's only one person that survived. <laughs> Who, Reggie? Who? Ray J. Ray, Ray, oh, J. Yeah, Ray J. Ray J. Ray J survived in Ray his J. own survived. special way. Yeah. Man, but, look, look, what's so crazy? I don't want to cut y'all. What's so crazy about the Ray J thing that we all know that for years... His name's his name was dragged through the mud. Ray J, the one that started the whole yeah, shit. Yeah, he sparked them off. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. why they all, That's why he didn't go down. Shit. Yeah, you turned that up. Yeah, Reggie Bush when he was with Kim Kardashian, he won a Super Bowl. He won? No, no did he? he? Yeah, when he was with Kardashian, Kim Kardashian, he won a Super Bowl. Yeah, Reggie did Bush won the but Super Bowl that year. Well, who? The, the Saints. Saints. Oh yeah. shit! Damn. After that, he had a career in the injury. Oh sh- yeah, damn. Chris Humphreys, when he was married to Kim Kardashian, he was making double doubles like every game. Yeah, 
And after that, he retired. They, they, he lasted about a year, I believe. He was with her like a year, about a year, because he was with the Nets. Mm-hmm. Has she ever? I mean, dated he was a white balling. Brother? I think that was the closest white guy that she <laughs> dated before. She was no, nah, she was with Pete Davidson. Yeah. Recently. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 But he was like a rebound. Everybody. Yeah. Knew that. All right. Okay. Yeah. He wanted to play with Kanye with that joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a troll. He was like a troll boy. Right. Yeah. Right. But now, nah, Kendall, shout out to Kendall. Shout out to the 818. 818. Resposado. They got a Blanco and they got a Anejo. Yeah, you know, I started to get the Diddy joke. I started to get the, the Deli on. I, bro, I started to get the Deli on, yeah, too. I, I started to get the Yeah, the Deli on, all right. I started to get the Deli on, too, bro. But um, how we gonna start this thing on our real? Man, we gonna get right into it. We got my nephew in the building, King Dolo. Dolo, what's going on, bro? Shit, man, just working, working hard. I feel that working like, all all around, working all on your around. craft, working, 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 working. Shit, taking care of my daughter. Hey, man, that's all the way. Yes, sir. You got to do both of them things, man. You got to take care of them kids, and in order to do that, you got to stay out the way. You got to stay out the way. out the way. For sure, got to. you want to sure. if you want to be out there like and you got kids, man. Just rethink the shit and stay out the way. Talk to them, man. Talk to them, yeah, man. It's That's more facts, fun man. being with your kids anyway. I'm just letting you know, yeah, because <laughs> it's, it's cats on the inside. That's like, damn. Wish they could do some of the things that we do on the outside. One of them is with be with their kids, with kids. Right. exactly. So man, we going we gonna start it off. We gonna go back. We gonna go all the way back, all the way back. Talk to him. Just tell us about your background, how you came up, family, mm-hmm. things well, like that. And then we gonna build it up. All right. Well, I got an interesting background because I, I'm from the West End. That's where my mama lived at. Like that's where I grew up at. Well, I was born in Holland Park. So I got a lot of family in Holland Park and shit like that. Right. And that's where my daddy from. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know my daddy, Boosie. If y'all know, y'all know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all know his name. So. Hey, real talk, you was the first little Boosie. <laughs> <laughs> you can go there too. That's, a, that's another thing. Like, my you was, was, a, you was the first little Boosie. little Boosie, bro. Yeah, facts. But, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, so I started off in Holland Park. Then my mama and them, she, she moved around the West End. I grew up in the West End pretty much like, but my grandma always lived in Central Gardens. Yeah. Okay. So I got that. I was over there all the time too. Oh, so man. I kind of grew up over there too. Okay. So I grew up in the West End and like Central Gardens at the same, same time. So I'm kind of like a East and West baby. So it's okay. kind of like mm-hmm. interesting. All right. But like my heart is in the West End. Like, in the West End. You know what I'm saying? I don't like. Got into my first fight around there, uh, learned how to play football, basketball around there, all that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's where I'm from. So it started off like that. Big the, family. The, I didn't mean to cut you off, but the crazy thing about the West End, though, my first time going to West End, we had went on a field trip. And we had parked. I forgot where we parked, but we ended up on Carey Street. Nigga, I thought I was in another town. <laughs> yeah, the first yeah, time yeah, I was in the street street right there. Yeah. <laughs> It looked different yeah. The Cash Street looked it different from Especially back then Man Yeah yeah, yeah I for thought, sure Man yeah. ain't no, I was like Nigga what, I thought I was lost man mm. We ain't in Richmond no more <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when you keep Going, going down yeah. With like Richmond going Richmond on um, college and shit Man, man. that shit man. Definitely looked different Oh my god there. The yeah. first time I was driving an Uber bro And that was the first time I ever went around Like University of the Richmond area mm. Like I'd never seen it before I was like, yo, all this around here? Million <laughs> like, over there. These, them houses over there is yeah, crazy, crazy, boy. Right. Like, yeah. it's wild. Yeah. It's wild over there. Like, it's crazy. Like, Richmond is so different. Right. You know, depending on the area that right. you go to. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. But you say that you got a big family. And, and let me tell you, man. Big, You're, big family. Big, big family, man. Like, oh, I mean, I, I became a part of the family when I was four. Right, cause mm-hmm. my dad married into it. Right, it won't no step brother. You know what I'm saying? It won't right. no step son. Right, no. it right. was son, son brother. Right. right, mom dad. You know what I'm saying? It won't even nothing like that. And they all they immediately 
took me in. So this is my nephew right here, like right. straight up. Yes, sir. And uh, man, well, I remember, man, we used to play football. Do a lot of shit. Rap. Ra- wrestle. <laughs> rap. Do all that shit. <laughs> like we, we do a lot of shit. All that shit, man. Like it was some good times good over times. in Central Gardens, man. For good sure. Times. That's the first time I played because I'm from New Kent. I ain't never know you could play football in the street. <laughs> no boys con- on the concrete. <laughs> on yeah. concrete. Yes, tackle. sir. Yes, sir. Facts. Side Side line run. hit. Throw it up and run, man. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Facts. What niggas hit? Car. Car. Car, car, uh, car coming. <laughs> car coming. Car. <laughs> no matter where you at, that car come, everybody got to move to the side right quick. Oh, man. And you know, I, not to get off topic, right? Because we, we, we really ask people of our age when they come in here, what do you miss about the 90s? If you if if you do something, like what's something that like maybe happened in the nineties? What 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 you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's not now. What's 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 different between then and now? You know what I'm saying? I could say this because I'm ninety four, so like mm-hmm. I ain't get to like experience it like that. Yeah, because I was young. Right, right. So I'm more like a two thousands. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, but okay. What I really miss, like, cause I could like I used to be reciting like Biggie lyrics. Like yeah. at that young age, yeah, like, yeah. word for word, right. So I like I miss the music, like the nostalgia, yeah, like everything. You know what I'm saying? Like right. the way they dressed, the way you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like the way the music felt, the way the beats felt, the right. pop, like right. just this everything about that era. Like that's the golden era. Like yeah. even though the 2000s, that's what that was the shit too. But yeah. the 90s though, like that was the golden era. Like I feel like, yeah, I feel the same way. I feel like because. During, during the nineties is like I felt like for black culture, fashion, movies, um, music, it's like what what sparked us, you know what I'm saying? Our whole originality. it's like what we took off at, you know what I'm saying? It's like mm-hmm. a lot of a lot of a lot of legends came out the nineties. Right. They did. A- across and, entertainment. You and know it, what and it sparked that two thousands. Like the two thousands yeah. was just like the 90s like set like the foundation for it and like the 2000s just like christened everything that the, that the 90s put forth if right. you think about right. uh the music that the 90s had right um you mentioned biggie yeah. um which is a good transition like to the next question like like how did you get started um as far as knowing that okay i want to be a rapper like what was like the mm. first first thing that was like yeah i want to be a rapper Mm. See, I started off like I just like music. When mm-hmm. I started off like my my cousin put me in the game. You know, my older cousin Keith. Mm-hmm. Shout, shout out to Fool. Like, hey, Keith had flow too. I, when we was younger, mm-hmm. you know how I rap now. Like, mm-hmm. you be like you talking that shit, but it's like he was doing that shit when we was like. 10 years old Yeah he right. was Like really like mm-hmm. Talking that shit and, I, and, it, and it's like Shit that's like Nigga I just was with you yesterday Like what mm-hmm. the fuck <laughs> When you do this <laughs> What like, time like, you all talking good? that shit What time, like, time you all good? You know what I'm saying Like so I'm just I'm still like Trying to catch up To that shit Right Like right. To what he was doing When we was goddamn 10, 11, 12 years old Like I'm right. still Trying to catch up to that So like I just watched him rap Like At first like how I started, like, he was, I wasn't even doing my, like, he was writing this shit for me, like, okay. if he ain't write it for me, I just freestyle it, cause okay. I won't write no music. Okay, yeah. And that's how I, like, got kind of, like, my swag with the shit, like, cause cuz he was, like, spitter. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, even though I spit too, but, like, I'm the one with the swag, mm-hmm. like, I put that swag on yeah. that shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause I started freestyling. Right. And I just started just, you know what I'm saying, doing right. whatever. So that's how I started with that. And then, like, we was called the Little Figures. We had a group. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, unk nobody. Like, mm-hmm. Little Figures was that shit. Like, <laughs> on MySpace, all the old Yo, shit, like, Debo. I mean, like, I tell you, man, these dudes been rapping for a long ass time. Right. All time. Like, <laughs> like a long ass time. Like, I'm talking about in their teens, bro. So to see them still rapping, yeah, to now is is crazy. Right. right. But yeah, like, so it started from there, like, and then we took a break because we did everything at, like, he was recording at my cousin's daddy's house. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, like, he moved back with his mama. 
Right. Uh, so that that kind of like stopped shit. Like I, I said, like after it was like fourteen, fifteen, like it stopped. Like we ain't record mm-hmm. music for like I ain't record again, and then I ain't never record without him. Okay. So my first time recording by myself was like after I graduated high school. Like I I say like twenty thirteen. Mm-hmm. Like the beginning of twenty thirteen because I graduated twenty twelve. Okay. Right, right. So right. like the beginning of twenty thirteen, that's when I like first started, like made my own first song. It's okay. still on SoundCloud, it's called like this. Like mm-hmm. oh, yeah. that's when I started it, like I'm Dolo. <laughs> like cause I want to eat Dolo yet. Oh, oh right. I get it. I'm Dolo I'm now. Saying, like, that's tough. I'm Dolo now, yeah. That's tough. Like, now I'm here, yeah. like I'm Dolo, like you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I like that. Yeah. You feel me? So I like that shit. Twenty thirteen ever since then I've been rolling, like, you know what I'm saying? I've been taking breaks in between there, like his life and stuff like yeah. that. But like mm-hmm. now, like I'm back on it and then yeah, yeah, man, you own it, bro. And I can see the growth. Like, I see the scaling, the scaling up. Like, it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's a lot of quality. And we talked about this. Like, when you put out, like, quality shit, yeah. like, your shit stands out among the rest. Like, right. if, you're, if your work, sound and your work. audio is good and your right. videos are crisp and you yeah. got effects and all, that's that sets you apart of somebody who might be more talented than you. Exactly. Right. Honestly. Fact. So yeah, man, that's 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 hella dope, man. And the so, thing about that, hold on before I could like the thing about that quality you said yeah, too, like yeah. with that, like I want to say, like it been that since I started in thir- twenty thirteen. Like mm-hmm. it's like quite like it sound like it's in the industry. That's what everybody yeah. always tell me. Like, yeah, it sound like so it kind of like far as like the city, like it kind of like pushed me out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I'm right. It just already sound like you already sound like you. So it's like yeah. It kind of like Pushed me out the way Like right. you know what I'm saying To where it's like People really not paying attention Cause right. I've been doing it Right For right, so right. long Exactly So it's like That's why it's like I have to keep Reinventing myself Like mm-hmm. Cause I don't have Like errors Like all the errors Of Richmond Like I've been relevant Through all of it Right. You know what I'm saying? People been saying like Dolo this, Dolo that. Mm-hmm. Even though it might not be Like a thousand people Saying it But niggas know Like oh I walk out On the street Nigga be like bro Keep doing that shit. Keep keep playing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Like keep, so, it's like, record. and I get that every day. Just stay in there. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. uh, so yeah, you dance your page your dues for so real, man. If if you had to say right, because you know, New York got a style, the West Coast got a style, down South Atlanta got a style. Do Richmond <laughs> style of music? Do do they have a style? Dude, is is they copying Atlanta? Is they copying New York? Is they copying the West West Coast? You know what I'm saying? Can you put on some Richmond shit and be like, man, that's some that's some Richmond shit, man. That's some Richmond. That's some RVA 804 shit, bro. It's a it's a select few of people that's like that's Richmond shit. Okay, yeah. Okay. But like far as like in general, like. Uh, like I ain't trying to down it, but it's like we don't have a sound. Like we like, we don't we spread out. Like mm-hmm. some people want to they they talking like Chicago. They yeah. they got the Chicago lingo. They rapping yeah. like them. Some mm-hmm. people are rapping like Atlanta. They got the Atlanta lingo. Lingo. They talking like them. Right. Then you got shit. People want to be from everywhere. Some people talking like saying shit from Memphis. It's like yeah. Detroit. Right. Like yeah. Detroit when that Detroit wave came. Like oh, yeah, a lot yeah, of niggas yeah, yeah. got on that. So yeah. it's like. We don't have nothing that's like, oh yeah, that's Richmond. That's Richmond style. Yeah, yeah you know what that's I'm true. Like, I, I know some. Like the closest we get to that shit, like, just to name a few, is like Rio. Shout out to Rio. Ball out Rio. Shout you out you Rio. got Kiddo. Like, yeah, like shout Kiddo. Out. Kiddo. Shout out, shout out. It's Richmond. Shout mm-hmm. out. Hey, look, look. Like, <laughs> I was. <laughs> okay, fucking I, was, uh, like, I, was, I was in my, my brother in law truck and he got a style. That I ain't never hear before, mm. and he owned that shit, and he nice with it. And I was like, "Who the fuck is this?" He was like, "Bro from Richmond." I said, "Bro from Richmond." Mm. I'm like, "Oh," and then and then J. Ron just posted the video, uh, cause J. Ron in the, the new video, video mm-hmm. the new video of John. Right. So I was like, "Oh, that's what bro looked like," cause I ain't even know what he looked like. Right, right. But he got it. He mm. sell just like I'm telling. Like, he like sell a like rich, like a Richmond, like a Richmond dude. Like bro. If you could point it out, like you know, what I'm saying, like you could point something out is like yeah. okay, he it. 
Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's 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 the lingo, like it's the like the shit they be the the antics and shit that they be yeah. doing, and it's like because I'm from the West. Yeah, so it's like that's West End shit. So okay. I can identify, like, bro, that's some straight West End shit. Hey, 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 like, you hey, feel look, me? Like look. my sister, my sister, my baby sister, her father from West End. Right? Let me ask you. Let me ask you this question. Right? Let me ask you this question. Do you know about the honeycomb? Honeycomb. Hell no! Who the fuck is that? <laughs> the honeycomb, the dog pound. Oh yeah, I know what the dog pound. Okay, that's a West End history. Yeah, that's right, a, that's dog a West, on, West, West, that's put a me West on. End history. Max. Dog, yeah. hey, the dog pound was some, was them guys over over the West End. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Facts. there was them guys over yeah. the West End. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I ain't, I ain't that's way y'all. way before my time, yeah, but yeah, like yeah, I yeah. definitely heard the stories. Yeah, 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 for yeah. sure. Like, yeah. It's but serious. to go back what you were saying, like hold on, I don't mean to cut you off. Let's talk to But him. we gotta make sure that we hit up the eight one eight Tequila Resposado. Tequila by Kendall Jenner. Hold up. You want another one, Dolo? Let's take, let's Let me it. pull you up, nephew. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. This Kendall. Yes, sir. She's smooth, she's sweet. Probably how like Kendall Jenner really is in life. Yeah, right. Cause you yeah. don't never hear it. You don't, she don't, she Kendall. stay out the way for yeah, the most part. You know what yeah. I'm saying? For therapy, they probably go to Kendall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Toast up to the guys, man. Bam. Yes, sir. All right. So get back to what I'm saying. Um, Rich Malingo. We don't say no cap. Not at all. You wailing, bro. Yeah, you wailing. You wailing or you snatching? You snatching. You wailing or you snatching, bro. And this is my thing. (laughs) We had snatching and wailing way before niggas started saying no cap. (laughs) So why y'all switching up? (laughs) A long (laughs) ass time, bro. What's going on? Yo. I don't get it, man. Yo. And you know know another junk we were saying? We were saying exactly what I just said. Junk. Jank. Jump. Yeah, that's that's us. Like they yeah. saying that th- that's coming from Philly now. Bruh. Just like they saying the mean coming from Philly, cause you say they say nah mean. It, it's different. It, we say yeah. the mean, like it's yeah, like yeah, one yeah. word. Okay. Like right, they, right. they shit okay. like two syllables. Like yeah. nah mean. Like it's we like the mean. Yeah. You yeah. feel me? Like come on. Bro. It's more southern. Like y'all, cause y'all from up north. Like mm-hmm. right. We we more southern with it. So it's like the mean. Like right. My my thing was, um, even even in just growing up in the school and people from uh, up top, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. People from different out of states, you know, and they say, uh, we country, right? That's right. off yeah. the rip. We country. Mm-hmm. And you know what I'm saying? The way we live, we like, nigga, why the fuck I you I used talk- to fight that shit so What hard. the fuck you talking but about? A nigga, from like, New York, <laughs> a nigga from New York think anything below New York is country. <laughs> Nigga, it, nigga could be in goddamn uh, fucking Maryland, you country, nigga. Like, you country, it, don't, like it don't even matter. Like this shit, like they they don't understand. Like, okay, listen, I'm gonna break. I'm gonna try to break Richmond down. Richmond is separated in a lot of areas, 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 and um, we all bring together as a collective. Mm-hmm. If you go in the club, you can tell a north side nigga from a south side dude. Definitely. You can tell the difference between a West End nigga and an East End nigga. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? I say you used to could. You can't you can't now. You you think so? You, you can't. You think so? From, from you, in, now, from now any new generation, like you can't tell okay, like where okay. niggas from. Like, uh, okay, okay. Like like with okay. us, like our gener- like yeah. Yeah, could. with us, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. like the younger people, like they all the same. Like, yeah, yeah, the yeah, same yeah, yeah. trends. That's yeah. true. Like, yeah. They look the same Like they You right. know what I'm saying like, That's very true So it's like You can't really tell Like Until a nigga start talking Until a nigga start talking Until a nigga start talking I was, I was in a, I was <laughs> in a, start then talking you can tell, But that's like, a good point Because I was in a spot The other day Until a nigga start and talking And you can You can actually It was an older It was an older crowd Right You know But you can actually tell Oh That's how Based on the music That started playing Right Oh right. when they started playing Jeezy Oh Them niggas from the south side mm-hmm. I can right, already right. tell yeah, yeah yeah You know what I'm saying yeah. Like it was crazy, like what you just said. Like you can actually tell from the older crowd. Good point of what you made too, because like the younger generation, 
You gotta wait for them to talk. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They, then you know. They don't yeah, even sound like sure. they're from Richmond. Dude. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> you know what I'm Some of them, you know what like, I'm they don't even sound like, yeah, they just sound like they got there from, and oh yeah, DC too. A lot of niggas, like, cause you know the little RVA drill wave that's going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Like they mixing the little, like, DC junk was going right. on with. Like it's Richmond style beats. Don't get it fucked up. Like right. the producers that's doing it, they they straight made that sound up, right, from right. scratch. So it is a Richmond sound. Yeah, with the way niggas rapping on the beats, it's not Richmond. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So okay. that's where the confusion come in with that shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Like so, this a this a just good, got a bridge the gap. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like this a good segue that we can go. Jump back into your music Like let's talk about like Your creative process Like You You sit down You at the booth You like man I'm about to I'm about to make another song I'm about to kill these niggas I'm about to come up with another song Like this walk shit, us Walk this, us through This shit about to be That fire. process Alright So like At first Like when I Like let's go back to 2013 When I first started So like I never really got to like Lock in mm-hmm. Like well I'm in the studio Every day Right right So I just go to the studio I may I go a lot Yeah I go here I go I might go the weekend I might go Friday Saturday Sunday You know what I'm saying I might not go to the next weekend mm-hmm. It might be two weeks I might go again okay. Right You know what I mean And back then Like I used to write my music out No pen like, Cause my pen was Like when I first started Like my pen was crazy Like I did a session one time I think I got like a like a six hour session mm-hmm. And then like 21 songs in that bitch. Mm. God damn That's a lot Hold on hold on hold on And I wrote all of them Hold on Six hours 21 songs 21 songs Listen I done been in the studio And niggas spent six hours On one song On one song, one song. On one song I know some niggas too <laughs> I ain't never been like the. I ain't never because I'm spending my money like I ain't never been no wasting time. I, it'll be I go into some studio sessions and I'm rushing the engineer like nigga, come on. Yeah, let's hey, get it. We yeah, had yeah, come yeah, on, yeah. Like, yeah. for sure. Doing, we had bro? your uncle up here. Shout out artillery. Guy. Shout out to artillery. He said first take, best take. Nah, not That's always. It. I ain't Let's gonna say that. It. Nah. Now that I now that I've grown like because now like. It's in my house. I right. Can, I sit down like it's. I'm comfortable. Like I be sitting down just like this. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. I could do a turn song just like this, and mm-hmm. I ain't got to be even turn. I'm just doing it sitting just like this. That's right, how right. good I've gotten because I'm comfortable now. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? I get so, that. I'm at home like my en- and now I got an engineer like I didn't have like I got a personal engineer like uh, okay to my house right right and he make beats for okay me. that's my. Beat maker to like he do all my beats now, so now I ain't got to worry about like finding beats like and yeah. we creating a sound. Now. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So now like it's coming together. You and right, your right, right. Says, that now bomb. like yeah, and I don't write no more now. Like it's just off the top, off the dome. Mm-hmm. So I, listen, I don't like so listen, go all the way through. They don't just they don't get me wrong. Like I just freestyled it all the way through. Like I'm punching like and I'm just staking okay. the shit on the go. Right, right. But I'm so like I got so good with it. It's like. I'm already in cadence. Like once I find like the first few bars, it's just gonna mm-hmm. keep flowing. Yeah. Like, yeah, you right, know what I'm right, saying? Right. Like, because there's so much shit on my mind. Like, but it's crazy to listen to your music. Like, it's it's kind of you can't tell it's put together like that. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's what it, I'm it, saying. It, it feels. That's what I'm saying. It feels like you put like that song that we played at the beginning, which is fire, mm-hmm. by the way. Um, it feels like greatly produced. Mm-hmm. A lot of effort put into it. Yeah. And yo, the shit is impactful, bro. Like that shit was that shit we played at the beginning so, was fire. The quote you said artillery guy said was First take, best take. First take, best take. Back to Dolo. All right. I when you, I when, you pu- when you punching in, you going off the first shit that's come coming to your mind. Right. And like you said, you finessing as right. you go. And a lot of hits been coming in or punching in versus a person. Right, simply writing this shit down. down. Let me tell you something about writing, like because like that looking, like whether you got a phone or a notepad, that right. looking at it can make can make a make is fucking difference. up your voice. Whew. It's fucking up your k, and you're Whew. not even realizing it, like because wow. I can, 
I wow. see it on another person when another person recording when they did it, and I be like, bro, like you. Just remember this shit. Yeah. yeah. Because, like, keep looking at the phone. Like, right. it's, fucking, it's fucking you up. Yeah. Like, because it's, it's, it's a mind thing. Like, mm-hmm. you're thinking too much. Right. Thinking too much. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. W- it, opposed to, like, it's just fresh off your head. Like, and then, like, first take, like, the first take shit. Like, I might say something first time. It might be sweet. It might be five. It might be five as a bitch. <laughs> right. But it's like, nah, but, let me think again. But yeah. I get it. But then you add stuff to it. Like some of the best rappers do this shit, Biggie, Jay Z, Lil, Lil Wayne. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't write shit or right. didn't write shit. You know they get in that studio, do what you said, punch it, right. rap some shit. That shit be fire. Right. Like hold on, hold on, hold on. cut that. Or hold I on. might do this too. Like say like uh, we at the house, my engineer pull up. He started just making the beat. He, while he making the beat, I just write two bars down. Mm. Okay. okay. And then I just go off of that. I don't just, then I just mm-hmm. put my phone down. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember those two bars. Yeah. Or I, I, whether I don't remember, I look at it that way. I ain't got to look at it for too long. Or yeah. I might write four bars. Mm-hmm. Might write eight. but uh, Or I might write the whole hook, but I'm going to freestyle the rest of the song. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I do it too now. Like, even if I write it, I'm going to still punch every line. Okay. Gotcha. Because it's strong. Like, when you're trying to go all the way through, like, you're losing breath. Your words getting weaker. Yeah. Like, yeah. You want every line to be strong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I can see that. And then like if you got a good engineer, like you said, only you're saying like I'm punching. Because that's the thing too, like people gotta you have a great engineer. Because yeah. it'll sound like you punching. Mm-hmm. It don't sound like I'm punching in. It don't. No, it don't. But I'm don't. literally it don't. like it either punching every line or every couple it don't. lines. Mm-hmm. No, I'm gonna keep it real. Just so yeah, they I'm can be strong. Real. Like I'm gonna keep it real. It don't. It don't sound like you. That's something you don't think about when you're listening to music. Like mm-hmm. when niggas stop. Like yeah. did he stop here? Did he Record. stop there? Right. right. You just listening. To, I know from a consumer standpoint, DJ standpoint, I'm listening to music. I'm listening to the entire song. Right. Yeah. I'm not thinking about the creative process. So right. it's a good. It's a good. Um, thing that you said as far as how it how you go about putting your songs together because a lot of people don't don't think about that shit. Right. Um, it's a lot of effort that goes into you, man. Make sure y'all check my man out. Honestly, check Dolo out, bro. And don't think too hard too when you make. Oh yeah, that'll fuck you up. Fuck you up. That'll fuck you up. Don't overthink. Like in any type of artistry, overthinking is gonna fuck you up. Fuck you up. Like you, you you're gonna. It's not gonna be good. That's why niggas be spending six hours on one song. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. If, if that shit ain't working, shit, pull the next beat up. Yep. For real though. For real though. Keep spinning. If it ain't hitting, I'm going to the next thing. Like shit, for real. You know though. what I'm saying? Like we just keep it going. Cause I ain't sitting here wasting time. Like, cause nah. I know, like I know when I'm fucking up. It's yeah, like okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't try to do this next. like the same yeah. line like 15 times. Nah. Shit. No and plus, and plus, for for referring, you on a six hour block. Man, nah, come on, bro. Right. Come on, nah. Just get. I I fuck with that joint later. But I'm I'm truly inspired by something. You know what I'm saying? If right. I can't catch that beat, that lingo, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And niggas be too like they be trying to make a hit so bad. They be like, no, this song is it. So they be trying to make that song it. Mm. So it's just like, nah, like just keep going. Just keep. It's this a song numbers. You it's, think this it, man? You need be the one that go up. It's a yeah. numbers game. It's a numbers game, especially now. It's an algorithm. You can, it's it's scheming and it's all about the algorithm and money. All about now. the algorithm, yep. bro. All you got to it. have some, me- and that's another thing I learned too. Like because, like, like you said, like I always been on another level, but I always been like about the music. Yeah, right. Like right. I ain't even never. I ain't like I started in twenty thirteen. I ain't shoot my first video until twenty nineteen. What? I didn't put out projects and everything. Because I'm about? so low key and I ain't, I'm like, I don't like camera. Like at first, like I didn't like cameras at all. Yeah. Like get that shit out my face. That ain't the case now. Like yeah. Your like, ass man. love the fucking camera. Because I know I have to. I still yeah. don't, but I know I have to be. See, in that's another face. thing. I can't tell. You, you see what I, I'm I can't tell that you don't like the camera because the quality of your videos and as much content as you produce like you just in this shit it like, doesn't give that vibe at all it don't get that vibe at, like i'm camera that's shy. amazing i, I got that's do amazing it. it's not even like i'm camera shy it's just like i really don't like being in the camera but yeah. that's that's the thing you you putting yourself in an uncomfortable 
position. You're right. getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Talk, talk, I had to real. do that. Talk you got real. to. That's that's the only way that you elevate. Right. Well, when we started when we started the podcast, because we we both was like, how the fuck? nigga first episode, nigga, <laughs> like how we gonna look on this camera, bro? Like, we, we don't know, like, man, 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 man. what the fuck would we was talking? Me and Rail, you know, know what I'm saying? Me and Rail, like, uh, you know, he hit me up like one day, like, bro, let's sit down, let's let's talk this shit through, and he he said to me like, bro, I'm DJing now. Me being on the camera. Help me be a better DJ. Like it that did. shit was crazy. It did. It got me comfortable. Right. It's crazy because it just be us two here. Yeah. But it got me comfortable with public speaking. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Because I already put. I've already been behind a camera and send it out to you know thousands and thousands of people. So right. uh, shout out to all our viewers, bro, and we, all our subscribers. We did, it. we did like a first spill on the street, first interview joint, and my nigga real was killing it, bro. Killing it! Oh like, yeah, that joke was live. First interview, <laughs> live, killing it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. What's your name? What other? What you gonna do? <laughs> like my, like you know what I'm saying. And, uh-huh. and I go back and look at him. Like, okay, now I see what he's talking about. Right. Now when I see, even even what J. Ron said, J. Ron made a a fucking he made a, a fucking statement, bro. He was like, man, fuck them niggas, mm-hmm. fuck them people, fuck them. Go out and do your shit. Fuck them. That's what you got. That's what you got to do. And let me tell you, that kills nerves, man. Like when when yeah, I don't yeah. worry about who the fuck looking at me, or who the f- that kills all the nerves. Mm-hmm. Like and a little bit of tequila too. But yeah, definitely. that's <laughs> definitely gotta have tequila. That's another thing. So let's talk about this real quick. Let's talk about because um, one thing me and Red said when we first started the podcast was we were like, look, everybody's not gonna like our shit. You know what I mean? It's it's not for everybody. So talk about how you handle um, negative criticism or criticism of your music. Like, what's your approach to it? Like, how do you how do you handle that shit? Mm. Uh, I don't really get a lot of negative criticism or just oh, feedback oh, in general. Oh shit! Look, hold, can we hit the, hit the button? Hit the button for I that really shit. Don't. The spiel. Hit the button for that shit. You talking you this shit up there? <laughs> But like negative criticism. Now hate. I think negative criticism and hate. That's two different things. Right. Yeah. Hate is people who know that you're actually good. Yeah, they just hate. They just yeah. want to say that they don't like your right. shit. Right. That's that's different. But like far as like criticism, like I take it very well. That's mm. that's gotten me better. Like right, right. Like far as like when I used when I started like. I used to like I had like the Meek Mill syndrome. Like mm. I used to yell like like every yeah. for real like. Uh, every song Like <laughs> I ain't know how to change my tone For shit Like the niggas kept telling me And I'm like bro I'm spitting this shit bro What the yeah, fuck you talking what about what Like you talking My about? niggas not rapping like me They know what keep saying But the niggas be like bro You can be the best rapper bro But you gotta learn how to Just switch Like tone it up Like and switch your mm, tones and, Got you You know what I'm saying Like cause you yelling Like on songs that you ain't even gotta and I'm like, bro, I'm not yeah. yelling at because I'm a passionate person. Yeah. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm real passionate. So it's like, I'm just, I'm like, nah, but like, and I took that to he, like, at, at the time, I was like, man, what the fuck you talking about? But I listen. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. one thing about me. I might argue with you and do shit, but yeah, I'm definitely going to listen to you. Yeah, it's stuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Like, and I took it into he, like, and I learned, like, how to, like, and that's one of the things that helped me a lot, like, switching my tones and, like, and being, like, comfortable. Cause I was uncomfortable too, like right. with like getting melodic and shit too. So like now I'm getting more melodic and shit like that. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. Like I was uncomfortable with that shit. Okay, I ain't singing. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm a yeah, rapper. Like yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 but it's yeah. like yeah. shit changing. Like you gotta be. I ain't say you gotta be, but it's like it it make you feel it more. Like it right. pull you in. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? Like so I'm like all right. So I got more comfortable with that shit now too. Like and like I said, like engineer. Is a big thing Like mm-hmm. It's a big thing of this shit Like yeah. Cause you gotta have Somebody there That wants you to be better too right. For sure Cause engineers Are getting that joint Like they know And they need to tell you Nah I'll do that line over Yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah They yeah. ain't gonna say shit Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying yeah. Or like Oh I think you should Take this joint out Or oh, do it like this Right here Or do a little bridge Right here Yeah yeah like, yeah Like if you got If your engineer Ain't like telling you Doing shit like Or like 
putting a lot of input in or like if your engineer just quiet, he don't fuck with you at all. He just all want right. that bread. He just want the money. Man, right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? He said he just said something. So listen, y'all young, y'all youngins that's getting that studio. Trying to that's buying it. that five hour block. I hope y'all listening. That two hour block. I hope y'all not spending six hours on one song. <laughs> Goddamn that. Let me say y'all this too. <laughs> Get your own shit, man. Oh, for sure. That make a big difference. For Get sure. Your own shit. That or find you an engineer too. Even if that, because it's like now too, I can go back to a studio, but like he can book the session. He's an engineer. Yeah. So yeah. It's cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. Because that what you really paying for is the yeah. engineer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So either like buy your own shit, like or get you an engineer. That's what it's coming to. Like unless you really just don't like. Like some people don't have a passion for like being a part of like creating their own shit. They just want to make the music. If you're mm-hmm. just a person like that, shit, go to the studio. Right. But like, if you really like hands on and shit like that, like just get your own shit. Right. You'll you'll pick up on it. So let me ask you this question: When you when you when you go through that process of making your music, and um, and you uh finally hit that button on the completion, and you listen to it, how was that process for? process for you do you do you do you like listen and, and marinate and you want to go back or you just critique your own far as you know make it trying to trying to better yourself each and every fucking song because normally that's how it goes like mm-hmm. you're trying to get better right each fucking song right, you know what i'm right. saying mm-hmm. so mm. i guess what yeah what i'm saying like um yeah the, i do well, like when it's finished like Cause me too, like I'm like, like it's getting to a point now. Like once I started, I already know how it's gonna sound when, it, when before, mm-hmm. once I start the song. Mm. Right, Talk I already him. know how it's gonna how it's gonna sound. Talk to him. You know what I'm saying? Like that's when you in you're like you really in your bag. Like you mm-hmm. know, like yeah. once I started, I know it's gonna sound good. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? So now it's just like more like, I. I could have switched my tone up here. Mm-hmm. I right. could have, oh, I could have like put a, yeah. I could have put more punchlines yeah. in this. But what we do, yeah. what we do, we're we're our worst critic, right? Yeah, we are. You know what we I mean? Are. Like, you know, what I'm saying? you know right. we're gonna we're gonna dissect every single thing, but right. the average consumer is not gonna hear, hear it. Exactly. Those stuff that you're saying because right. I, I get or it. they don't they they fucking they don't, they don't know give about a shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah. Unless another art because I. I some crit- criticism I got from another artist too. They was like, she was like, when I let her hear my music, she was like, "Do you double your?" She was like, "Do you double your vocals?" Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was like, yeah. "I can hear it." Like, and she was like, "If like she was like just," and she was telling me like, "Just practice that." Like when you write it, just practice this shit. This one I was still writing. Just practice yeah. the shit in the mirror, mm-hmm. like, and just memorize it. So that way, like. You don't really have to like double it. It'll be strong the first time. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. So when you, I, but what I took from that is that's what I got from like the punching and shit. So now that's why I punch every line. So it's like, it's going to be strong. Every line going to be strong. But you know, that's, you know that's what I'm saying? The norm for like, when, when somebody, because I still in, double my shit, but you exactly, can't hear it. Exactly. That's what I'm mm-hmm. saying. That's yeah. the norm. Like when they're right. going in, they, they doubling it. Right. Because yeah. it, it, it's supposed to sound stronger. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And like you said, it's, that first take is supposed to sound as like mm-hmm. grasping when you hear the shit. Right. I remember. Well, now I don't double it. I do in and outs now. Because I used to, I double like do the whole thing, like right. every word, right. and then in and out too. Okay. But now I just mm-hmm. do okay. in and outs. Okay. You know what I'm I saying? You. I don't say every word. I just make certain words stronger. Like yeah, I might yeah. not say harder on these certain words. Mm-hmm. Got you. Shit like that. So Got yeah, like, yeah. I so. remember doubling. I used to rap on the fat back computers back yeah, in the day. For sure. <laughs> that's where we come from. So it's like yeah, that's what we know. Like we do got a double edge on. Like yeah, so it's so really strong on the goddamn fruity loops. Yeah, the okay. fruity. <laughs> so look, Dolo. How how important is the visual for the song? Mm. Because listen, after after you after you recording, after that bitch come out crazy, the engineer went stupid. You know what I'm saying? You listening, and it's like, man, now I gotta, I gotta talk to this 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 video this videographer. Help me out, real if, if I'm saying it right. That sound about right. That sound about right. Okay, it's like 
videographer. Yeah. But you was like video videographer. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you was there. You, you, you was there. there. You know what I mean? You put in it three parts though. You know what I mean? So how was how was imp- how how important it is for another person to hear out your vision and, and take the editing level so it, it matches what you're saying lyrically. You know what I'm saying? Okay, with me, it's kind of like a struggle mm. because it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got a daughter and shit, and I'm like, really, like, got to take care of real life shit. Okay. Right. So it's like, yeah. The way my music sounds, right. like, it's so on another level, like, the visual that I really want to have is so out of here that it's like, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, it's not a. Obtainable, like them okay. type of videos, like five thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three thousand dollars for a video, twenty five hundred. Yeah. It's like, bro, I can do that one time, a couple times. But it's like, bro, doing that shit every time. I got to shoot a video. Yeah, nah. I see what you're saying. Like niggas can play that, like they got money, man. Niggas don't be spending that money in yeah. this music shit. Niggas don't even be buying beats. Niggas right. still you <laughs> still in YouTube yeah, beats yeah, and shit. Yeah, niggas yeah, ain't yeah, putting yeah, no yeah. money yeah. up. For you sure. know what I'm saying? So. For sure. Nigga can play like that And then you would talk to videographers man Niggas be coming to them Trying to short change them And doing shit like that Like you hear that shit All around the city So it's yeah, like yeah. You know what I'm saying Like you just gotta be Real creative Like right. And what I learned is Like I grew up Around like a bunch of funny niggas Yeah mm-hmm. That's what I started Implementing into the shit too Cause it's like I'm funny too But it's like I'm just funny around my niggas Like I don't right, really right, right. Show that side to other people Like you know what I'm saying Like I'm closed off Like person So it's like like Now that's what I learned too It's like I have to stop I gotta get uncomfortable Right Yeah. And I gotta show people This other side of me Cause I feel like That's gonna tie in And that's gonna make the music go I see what you're saying Cause it's content I see that's what, what they, well, that's what it is now. Is you gotta oh. have content. Oh, like, you know gotta have content, and Real. you gotta be producing right. that shit Real all, all the time. time. Real right. was saying that. Real, Real like I said, me and Real talking. He was like, he was like, Real, we just got put out more stuff, and we just gotta um, put it where they can see. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Far as spill podcast is like I've been on it. Chopping it up, just giving you know, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, and um, that's a very point, like, cause like, like you said, if they don't, if they don't come to you, you gotta go, you gotta get in their face. You gotta and, do that. And, sure. You, you know got, they gotta see you over and over and over. And, and, over. and then the way the algorithm is now, Instagram, like they will overshadow you with a bunch of like niggas. Really, don't be seeing you. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, you too. have to like keep yeah. putting mm-hmm. shit, or and you gotta sometimes you might have to annoy people and just send your shit to everybody, right? Yep, so they can see it, right? Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because they will not see it. It's so much shit on Instagram. Right. Like they following celebrities, and then yeah, once they yeah, follow yeah. this celebrity, the algorithm put other shit like mm-hmm. other celebrities and other shit like that, so you can't even see the real people that you yeah. following. No right, more. right, right. You know what I'm saying? So it's and like then it's if fucked you, up. Then if you linger over a post for a certain amount of seconds, it'll bring that same person back up. It'll throw another post back up mm-hmm. from right. a couple days yeah. earlier mm-hmm. yeah. that they put. Yeah. If, if you linger, yeah. you ain't click on nothing. You just right. looking at something for uh-huh. 10, 15 seconds. They're like, oh, you like that, didn't you? Right. We're going to send Boom. another couple exactly. more back to you. Uh-huh. I feel I see that. That's like yeah, if you if and that's what I was saying like the attention span of people with social media, like within the first two to three seconds of a video that you push, it gotta be fired. It right. gotta be it, it gotta be rip. some shit off the rip. Will lock somebody in for ten more seconds. Off right. the rip. Like the first two three seconds, you gotta like set yourself on fire right. within that second, and then yeah. they'll watch the rest of your video. You might mm-hmm. be talking about some whole other shit. <laughs> And then shit, you really gotta fire a video if they keep going back and watching this shit. Cause right, niggas, oh, yeah. niggas watch your shit one time. Like, one time. and I learned that with two. Like, there's a lot of shit. Like, niggas Instagrams be so lit. Like, with like, well, I'm talking about like strictly music right now. Like, yeah. niggas are high like seventeen thousand views on the goddamn when they post the shit on Instagram. Niggas will keep going back and just watching the Instagram video. Facts. They will not go to YouTube. It it's so hard to get it's people to, to get transfer to to over to Bro. other apps, like Bro. to to YouTube. For it's hard to get somebody it's to go so to YouTube. So hard. Let me tell you, we, like, we've been tra- it's, it's difficult to get. Look, 
y'all on Instagram, we gonna clip this part right here on Instagram, people. Instagram, go to YouTube, go to YouTube and watch and the watch video. The watch the video because it really be worth watching. Like you know what I'm saying? Like for real. Like I don't watch that shit. Like I don't watch the cup. Like a what couple he said. Episodes. Like we, it's we really worth the watching. Clips out there no for bullshit. y'all. Like, we got we got the clips loaded. But y'all exactly. gotta go and watch the actual watch the YouTube video. Right. right. We love y'all. At the same time, y'all some niggas. Right. Y'all some niggas. That's why now, like, <laughs> that's why now, like, you gotta kind of like play with them too and tease them a little bit too. Cause yeah. I, I'm not the type of person yeah. that's gonna do, cause some people just gotta do wow shit. Yeah. Right, right. Uh, I'm not that. I'm yeah, not. I'm, nah, like, I'm not I'm doing that. You shit. don't wanna degrade your character. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, like, yeah, so yeah, it's like. Shit. I, I could just show more of my personality and just like, just like, mm, I want to say like, just be more creative with shit. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and just tease them more. Like, I might put out like 15 seconds of the video or like 20 seconds. That way, yeah. like, you want it. Like, damn, that's all you seen was 20 seconds. So it ain't, you ain't got a whole minute and 30 mm-hmm. that you can watch already of the video. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it'll make you want to go to it. Right. So I try to do a little bit of that. It's it's certain ways like you gotta get crafty with this shit, right. and you gotta spend a lot of time right. like looking at the internet. Like right. even though like because you you be like nigga be like ain't no internet nigga, but you gotta stay l- look at the internet and see how it works. Yeah. Yeah. You, do. you know what I'm saying? Right. Like like. Cause you're gonna go in blind. Right. You know what I mean? And it took us it took us a while to and try you to get while. delusional that out, too. Right. Like. We, Cause we, it be bots Some yeah, niggas be getting yeah, delusional yeah, They be thinking they yeah. like And it be like Nah buddy Nah like, <laughs> This girl ain't following you For <laughs> real <laughs> Like You know what I'm saying Like <laughs> Like man For Like the biggest goal Of the Spill Podcast is Like man I want A building You know what I'm saying I want uh, Be able to like um, All of The The local you know what I'm saying I, I hate saying local But the people that's booming in the city You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. We try to give them a platform So other people can hear them You know what I'm saying Also While While uh, Progressing as both co-hosts You know what I'm saying They try to be that platform in Richmond Because I just don't see it I really don't I really it's don't see lot. it and, and the thing right. about Richmond is And I'm going to say this Because I'm a, I'm a DJ I get a lot of music sent to me all the time and it's some talented motherfuckers in the city, talented. man. Like, and that's the thing about it too. The city got and, and the talented to hear, bro. ones get overshadowed the most. And it be like, y'all push the ones that's not really that talented. They just uh, they yeah. just popular yeah. and in yeah. the streets and shit right, like right, that right. that y'all like to see. Right. They got the image that y'all mm-hmm. want to see, right. but they don't really have the real star. Our type, right? Because we need somebody that's big, like somebody that's just gonna go up. That's gonna go up, 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 up. right? Like now. these look, I ain't trying to be funny. They not it. Like we need somebody that's gonna no, go, I'm, that's I'm, gonna be like no, a Drake, you're right though. That's gonna be like a Wayne. Right. You're we right, need though. one of those so we, we can we, really be do, home. Do we consider Chris Brown? <laughs> Do we consider the Chris Brown that nigga, or he just from Tapping Hand? <laughs> I mean, we, I mean, he our cousin and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I we, always call Chris Brown our in. cousin. Yeah, we'll take him in, but we can't really count him because he ain't real. Like, he ain't. Rich. He ain't. He, he, he ain't, ain't Richmond, rich Richmond. You know what I'm saying? We he fuck with you. It. We fuck you with you. You got family down here and shit like that. You be tapped in, but it's like you ain't really. You you from the tap, rich, bro. You know what you I'm from saying? The like, tap. You from like, the tap. You bro. from the tap. <laughs> <laughs> we got goddamn. We got mad skills. We got shout out goddamn. Shout out mad skills. We got super friends. Yeah. Goddamn. Red Rum, shout out Red mm, Rum. He's still a legend. Rome. Niggas be trying to carry Red Rum. Y'all yeah. gotta stop that shit. Nah, yeah, nah, Red he was on. <laughs> Y'all Red Rum was on. Gotta stop that shit. But um, I respect anybody who. I mean, if you think about, and that's another question, like a level of success. Like when you coming up, like when I was coming up at the DJ, like one of my best moments was having a nigga that had been DJing for 10, 13 years. Tell me that I just fucking set that shit on fucking fire. Right. Like, exactly. That shit meant a lot to me. So I'm thinking about, like, I respect anybody who's made it like a rare run. Right. Like a mad skill. Like, I remember watching fucking mad skills videos on BET, nigga. On BET, brother. Like, 
This nigga yeah. dropped a, a fucking one track every year for like years, nigga, and that and everybody was waiting for that shit. Everybody like, was waiting for the wrap up. Facts. Everybody was waiting for everybody the Everybody was nigga was nigga still waiting, waiting on it. Everybody was waiting for Mad the wrap up. Mad skills. What's up with and the rap he up wrote, this year? And that's the thing too, like he wrote for a lot. That's the thing about Virginia people. We we creative in other ways. Like he wrote for a lot of people too. Mm-hmm. That's the niggas don't know too. Like he wrote for a lot of people. And that's the thing I'm trying to get into. Like if it don't work, but it's gonna work. I ain't gonna say if it don't. It's gonna work. We are gonna manifest nah, that. Like no writing is a thing that like because I can like really like put a song together. So like writing yeah. and shit like that. Like I could tell just how you talking. Like your whole creative process. And I'm glad I asked that question. Like the creative process is, you know, that's pretty much the song. Like if you think yeah. about a creative process, I never thought about Drake's creative process. I never thought about Lil Wayne or Jay Z's creative process. So to sit right. here and, and actually talk about the creative process it takes to make a song, right. you know, is amazing. Right. You know what I mean? Because yeah. people don't even think about that, and we listen to music all the time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's hella dope, bro. Right. Let's talk about one thing real quick. Let's talk about performing live. Okay. Like, so have you done a lot of live shows? Not a lot. I don't like, I don't did like four or five live shows. Okay. So like, I know what it feel like. I ain't gonna say I'm comfortable, Mm -hmm. but like, I can, like, I could pull a crowd in. Like, I got stage presence. Okay. Like, because my, like my, my voice is strong for one. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna pull you in because I really mean what I say when I'm when I'm talking. Right. right. So you know what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna pull you in. Like then, like I might talk before, like just to pull you into the song. Yeah. I might talk a little bit. So like I'm comfortable. Like, but that's the thing. Like I don't really like performing in Richmond. Yeah, I don't. I can see that. Yeah, it's a lot of like. I don't want to bash nobody, but it's a, like it's a lot of like extorting. Mm. <laughs> That's Speak the on word it. I want to use. Yeah. Speak on it. It's a lot of extorting going Speak on. on. It's it, just right. like man, y'all got these people going to all these showcases and open mics oh and paying to get down. Perform in front of the people that's just waiting to perform. Man, every so- time, like, and I don't Yo. be doing them, Johnson. I be like, bro, and I be like, nah, who is I these people you. that y'all supposed to be bringing here? I and if y'all you. did bring somebody, why ain't nobody went up yet? The showcase, what's going on? I, the showcase is a ripoff, bro. You you sitting there, you performing before everybody who's performing. Then it's like, all right. The person that brought 15 people, he won. That nigga was trash as a motherfucker. <laughs> but since oh, he I got what's going on, he brought 15 people. They all paid to get in here. Okay. <laughs> nah, but Come on, who don't see what's going what I, on? What I saw was a good strategy, which it kind of threw me off, was I DJ for this promoter, and he had it at a, he had his showcase at like a club on a Saturday night. So people was already coming to the club. Right, mm-hmm. so he just happened to have performers there, but it still kind con- it threw the club people off. Right, like when I got on the mic and say, "All right, we about to have a performance by such and such and such," don't nobody know none of these niggas' songs. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Right. So it threw people out. Some people left. You know what I mean. So. And that's the thing too. Richmond is a hard city. It's tough. It's hard. They don't even give motherfuckers a chance. Not a chance. And I ain't gonna lie. Nine <laughs> times out of ten, they ass. I ain't gonna lie. They ass. If they coming up to perform, they ass. That's the thing. It was out of the performers that performed. It was like one guy, and he had he already got a song like right. on one hundred six point five or whatever like mm-hmm. that. But it was like one guy that actually was it was good. Was right. good. Right. Everybody else was like, who mm-hmm. the fuck? Right. I'm about to go to exactly. Waffle House. Exactly. <laughs> but I, that's why I know why they put the showcase together for that because people come there just for that. Like, just okay, they're right. just yeah. going like you know what I mean. They coming just for that, but at the right. same time, it's like stop selling people a dream. Like, yeah, yeah. just just yeah. be like, man, this is a place that y'all can come through. Y'all pay a little fat out just so y'all can just get y'all shit off. Right. Don't yeah, yeah. sell a nigga a dream with the right. joint. You ain't got to do that. Because nah. niggas, obviously niggas want to perform anyway because they keep coming yeah, to them every week. They keep coming to the You know what I'm saying? And like, then it's hard, it's hard as a DJ like when niggas send me stuff and y'all keep sending y'all stuff but it's hard for me to drop y'all shit. DJ rap. You DJ know what I'm saying? Rap, on the beat. It's just hard because like People gonna be looking at me like, nigga, what the fuck? 
<laughs> the fuck is this shit? A DJ told me that too. Like it's the hard. Artists had this riff with the DJs. Like it's just back and forth with artists and the DJs. Like they don't play Richmond music, but it'd be like if it ain't somebody like that. Like everybody is going up with. They not gonna take a chance on so even if it's good, they feel they might feel like it's a good song. Like, yeah. but it like where they gonna throw it at in they set. Yeah. Like, so where they like they gonna be like you said, down the down the crowd looking at you crazy. Like, crowd what, looking what at you, you crazy. Doing? Like, yo, who what the yeah. fuck? Because people come people come to clubs wanting to listen to some shit that they didn't listen to on the way to the club. Facts. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's kind of hard to throw on an independent artist or a local artist, even though Lord knows I want to. Right. I just can't because at at the same time my name on the line. So if I drop this shit and niggas, it could be fire. Right. I could think it's fire. Right. You could, but if I drop this shit in the middle of all these people partying, nigga, that shit's not gonna go over. Right. It's not gonna go over well at all. Yeah, it's like you gotta you gotta pick your spots. Is that you gotta pick your settings on on when you drop shit? That's the why well, my best thing for somebody like like just build. Like build of try to build a fan base. Stop. Yeah. Because like I ain't trying to be funny. This is not the city for like oh play my music in the club. Yeah. It's not. It's not the yeah. city it's for that. It's not. Yeah. And that's what I you know I what told like, some of these cats. I was like, yo, you got to get the fuck out of Richmond. Yeah. Man. You got to just build your fans up. Like, cause I got fans. Like when I when I drop a project, half of my listeners is from other states. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. Half of it's from Richmond, but it's like half, like the other half of my listeners is spread out through like, like one of my biggest ones is like Buffalo, dope, um, um, Fort Lauderdale, dope, Houston, like you know what I'm saying, like them, like my three like biggest listeners outside. Florida of is a great market. Florida is a great market. Florida is a great market because they so they so open, yeah, to all to different types of music. Like I'm telling you, man. Like going down there and listening to the D- DJs play all sorts of shit down there. So you can and, and people, you know, they in Florida. They vac- they on vacation. Right. They really well, fuck what you put on the goddamn speakers. Right. I got a homeboy too, though. He moved down there, and he be putting like it be so crazy, like cause like he my homeboy, but he won't like one of my like day ones, like a nigga that I hang with all the time, every day yeah. type shit. Yeah. But like. Bro, like my biggest fan, like mm-hmm. I put him on like one of my projects. Like he just started sending me messages out the blue, like keep going, da 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 da. Right. And I'm just listening to that. I'm so creative, and I said, bro, I'm ready to put you on. A, I'm ready to put you on a goddamn album, bro. Yeah. That shit's so hard. You go listen to like the shit he was saying, like, and it's like it be that, like it be a nigga like that that's like your biggest fan. Like he still listen to shit I put out in goddamn 2013. That's what I'm talking about. Like this about. shit still hard. Like that's you know what I'm saying? That's like, what I'm saying. Success is such a, uh, it's a, such a perspective thing. You know what I mean? Like right. people think success is just being a big mega star and making a lot of money, which it is. But another part of that is seeing some shit like that. Like you got a you got a fan that kind of love. Yo stuff and right. love when you put out shit and can't wait till you put out the next one and hitting you up like yo that shit was fire yo right. like that's that to me is a part of success too right you know what I'm saying it's just not about the superstardom you know what I'm saying it's it's different levels to it it's different variables to success and that like ground you to want to like keep going and yeah. like, keep getting it better could, like, it could be one person be like. You might have been feeling like, man, fuck this shit today, man. This shit ain't making me no money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, yeah. fuck this shit. And he just came through like, and like, bro, just keep going. Da, da, da. And it's like, damn. You bro. don't know how you impacting people. You right? feel me? You like, it's like, damn. People. Like, right. I ain't even know like you felt like that. Yeah. It's like, all right, I'm going to keep going. Like, so it'd be like that. That shit crazy. Before we close it out with the last question, y'all know what we got to do. What's that, bro? Um. Voices be talking to me, holding my hand under water. I feel like I can barely breathe. So watch what you say when you step into me. Undertakers they leave you deceased, and when we maneuver, it's so discreet. Promise you won't hear a peep. Well, 
No matter if you're on the way in the cut, I'm going to shoot if you follow a nigga. Ain't got any rack too big in the way. What the fuck they down there blocking them niggas? Stay on the water, trying to take something so you know I'm ready to go mopping them niggas. So much in my head going on. Trying to block out the distractions, cause lately I've been in my zone. Don't want no company, I can do this on my own. A lot of my dogs, where they back to the bone. Don't try your head, cause my niggas gon' bam if you want it. Let's get it, we aim at your dome.